Welcome to Trans Theories, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason, today we're going to be breaking down the Bumblebee movie trailer, so let's get right into it. So when the trailer opens, we are greeted with this majestic shot which looks like to be a silhouette of Bumblebee that is in the forest. And I'm predicting this is where he crash landed when he left Cybertron and he's in a protoform mode. Let me tell you something. Now in this shot, there are a few major things that I want to point out. For starters, did you hear anything familiar? Well, if you remember from the first Transformers film, the voice is from Bobby Bolivia, or what fans like to call him, Uncle Bobby B. And sadly, his actor, Bernie Mac, died in 2008, and for them to bring back his voice in this trailer and possibly in the film makes this whole Bone B movie even more special. So long live, Uncle Bobby B. <laughs> The next thing in this scene that I want to point out is the honeycomb that's inside Bombi's wheel well. And I'm already going to predict that when Charlie finds out that this VW bug turns into a robot, then she'll be naming it Bombi because of seeing the honeycomb. And the last thing I want to point out in this shot is that it looks like Charlie hijacks Bombi because the keys are still inside him. But this could be the other way around and she's buying him like Sam did in the 2007 film with Bobby B. But at this point of view, it looks like she hijacks or borrows him if you would like to prefer that word better for the time being. It's a mystical bomb between man and machine. It's a mystical bomb between man and now moving on to the next segment, we can first see that Charlie has been driving around in B for a little while and she has brought along her little brother for this car ride. And then the camera fades out to Charlie's house and she drives Bone B into her garage. And then we see her pick up some tools and the reason for this is because she is a mechanic. Now in the next clip, we can see Bombi move his radio, which is a throwback to the 07 film when Bombi breaks out of glass so Sam will be able to buy him. And then we later see Charlie trying to figure out where this noise came from. And upon this, a piece of Bombi falls on the floor. So, she shines a flashlight on the underside of the car, and she stumbles upon B's head. And with the flashlight pointing at Bombi's face, the light triggers Bombi to transform in the most epic and most beautiful way a Transformer could ever transform. And this transformation reminds me a lot of how Optimus Prime transformed when he revealed himself to Sam and Michaela. And I believe this was the look that they were going for and they definitely stepped it up. Now after Bombi is fully transformed, he is fearful of Charlie. And I believe B is scared of her because he has never met up with another human being before. And he did not know if they were harmful. And one thing people were debating with Bombi is the size of him. And people were calling him too small. But in reality, he's the perfect size because when he scanned a 1970s Camaro, the overall car was way bigger and had a lot more parts, while the Volkswagen Bug is a much smaller and simplified car and would give Bombi a more simple and smaller size. And after Charlie proves to Bombi that she's not a threat, B is not scared of her anymore and she lets Charlie touch him. And this is another cameo back to the old films because in Avengers of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon, Bombi lets Sam touch his face. And I believe Bombi does this is to feel comfort. Now in these shots, we saw some very odd things. First of which, we saw Bombi running in the forest. And this could be because he's either getting chased down by Sector 7 or Starscream, but we'll be getting to these options later. And in the next scene, we can see Charlie and her brother standing through the sunroof while Bombi is driving. So her little brother probably knows that her sister's car is a transferring robot because nobody's pressing on Bombi's pedals to drive. But when we get to scene 3, we can see Charlie diving to help save Bombi, or they are hiding in the water from Sector 7. But honestly, with this scene, I can't figure out why they're in the water. But I would love to hear your guys' input on this so definitely comment down below.
And of these three scenes, they're very interesting because the first one we can see Bombi and Charlie on the beach, which reminds me a lot of the first Bombi movie poster that we got. And in the second one, a lot of things are going on, but the elephant in the room is Bombi because he straight up lifts Charlie and runs away with her from Agent Burns. And I believe Bombi did this because possibly Agent Burns gave Charlie some type of threat and Bombi was not having it, so he just took her away and left. But another thing in the shot that I want to point out is, we can see a pedestrian in the background and it looks like he's trying to pull off the soldier's arm so he can escape, but it's very unclear what's going on. And once we get to the third shot, we can see all the forces of Sector 7, but there's one thing that I want you guys to keep in mind, and that's the green army jeep that's in the background, and this will carry into the next scene. Now in this scene, a lot of people are thinking that Bomi jumped from somewhere and landed, but he actually fell vertically out of the sky, and I believe he came out of a Sector 7 airplane. And my reasoning behind this is, that there are at least four Decepticons in the movie. And eventually, in the film, Sector 7 realizes that Bombi's one of the good guys, so they team up to stop the Decepticons. And this can be further proven because Bombi has a new look, and this is clearly shown on Bombi's chest. And I predict that he scanned a Sector 7 Jeep, and that's how he got all these parts. But he changed the color to yellow, similar how Optimus Prime scanned that white truck and made himself blue with red stripes. Now with these handful of clips, the most interesting part is Starscream, and this is proven to be Starscream because A, of the G1 jet colors, and B, because of the G1 styled head. And now the question is, why is he flying above the forest? Well if you remember, B was running in the forest, so this scene could possibly be the explanation on why Bombi was running in the forest in the first place. And now for another throwback, we can see Bombi use his arm to stay onto the road, which reminds me a lot when Bombi uses his arm to shoot Barricade in the last night. But why is Bombi grabbing onto the roll bar in the first place? Well I believe that Bombi is grabbing onto to the side of the road because he's probably getting shot at and if he goes down none of the bullets could hit charlie and she would be protected you got people out there who need you this is why you're here b now with these final shots, we can see a lot of amazing things, but the first one we can see is Charlie telling Bomi that people need him, and then it moves on to a shot of Bomi putting on his battle mask, but we'll be talking about his battle mask later. But with these two shots, they look like they've been shot at different places just by looking at the background. Now back on a Bomi's mask, once he puts it on, it resembles a lot from his last night mask, but it also has some extra detail on it that makes it look like a bug, and also in this shot, we can see two chains coming out of Bomi's chest, which can mean that Sector 7 has locked him up, but when Bomi gets his mask on, he probably escapes from Sector 7. And in the next shot, we can see a helicopter that's about to crash and Bombi catches it just in time. But the question is, who shot it down? Well, Sector 7 is out because it looks like a military helicopter. So the obvious choice would be a Decepticon that's in this film. And at the final scene, we can see Bombi standing over a broken Sector 7 Jeep. But here's the question, did Bombi destroy the Sector 7 Jeep? Well, I believe this scene takes place at the climax of the film. And this Jeep probably got destroyed during the crossfire between Bombi and the other Decepticons. Or it was used as a shield for Bombi and he hid behind it when a missile was coming. And when the missile came, it destroyed the jeep but not Bumblebee. Well, that's over this trailer breakdown. I hope this video helped you have a better understanding of the Transformers Bumblebee movie. Also, if you're new to Trans Theories, don't forget to subscribe to join the Theorist Nation. As always, this has been Trans Theories saying, keep on theorizing.